welcome back to my channel. So today we've got a new vlog. Um, it is mine and Phil's two year anniversary. So to celebrate, we are going to Eastwell Manor to stay overnight, use the spa facilities and have dinner. And then tomorrow we are going to have afternoon tea at the secret garden. Um, so we've just packed and ready to go. So I'm gonna go and I will film along the way. See you guys. So we have just arrived at Eastwell Manor and we have checked in and we're staying in one of the Muse cottages and it's really nice. I've never stayed in the Muse cottage before. I've always stayed in the manor. So we thought we would have a change of scenery and stay here and experience this instead. And it's really lovely actually because you have a front door which is communal entrance and then I think there's three rooms actually in the cottage itself so you come in we're staying at the far back um, room and it is lovely really really nice so I thought I'd do a room tour to show you guys because obviously we all like a room tour so let me show you our room so this is the entrance as you come in and then you have got some really nice light fittings perfect as well if you want to read your book at night and the design of the wallpaper is just really beautiful. I know that they have refamped the Muse cottages. Loving this headboard as well. And it is a double sized bed which looks extremely comfortable so can't wait to get in that later. And then over here we have the vanity table which is really lovely actually. Really really nice. And we have a hairdryer and the remote control for the TV, a mirror, and then we've got some glass bottled water, which is a lovely little touch, and some glasses there, our case. So this is a better view of the bed here, and I absolutely love the artwork of the horses, which I know my mum would really like because she loves horses, and you can see the really lovely wallpaper there which is the feature wall. And then we've got one bedside cabinet, which I just think is amazing because I love the old fashioned telephone. I think that's so good. And it has a Roberts radio. Now I absolutely adore these radios. I really want one for our home. But yeah, and it's in the gray. Oh, happy days. So I might listen to some music later on. I believe you can plug in your iPhone, I think. And it's a really cute bedside cabinet. Very like industrial. Has it got anything inside? No. You've got pen and paper. I just love this. I just thought what a nice little touch on the bedside cabinet. And then we've got a box of tissues which I've just placed there. But yes, I mean, oh, this is amazing. I think this is so cool. Yeah, so over here we have a chair and some wardrobes, some fitted wardrobes. And inside it actually makes me laugh because we just put our coats in here, but they actually have like anoraks with shampoos on them. And you think that's so cool. There's two in here, I guess for our lovely English weather that we have. <laughs> and this side, we have a safe and tea and coffee facilities with the classic shortbread. Oh, lovely. And um, it's got an iron there and I believe it's got an ironing board here as well so it really is fitted out with everything that you can need for your stay on oh, we have a full-length mirror as well on this door which is a good idea to have especially for us women and then over here we have the flat screen TV which is really lovely so overall I think it's a really <laughs> really nice room and I'm thrilled with it. They've done a really good job of the renovation so yes right let's go oh hold on before I go let me show you the views out of our window which is so pretty so you can see the manor 
and then you've got the outdoor swimming pool over there. So I think we will have a walk later around the grounds. Let's go into the bathroom. So this is the bathroom. It's not overly big, but it's a decent size. Got the toilet and everything here. I'm loving the tiles. I think the tiles with the green is really nice. And we've got some really nice cozy towels here. And our sink, which is really pretty actually. It's very like Victorian, I would say, Victorian sink. And then we have a nice big round mirror here. Hello. You can sort of see my outfit in this mirror. <laughs> Look at the angle of that. There we go. You also have a mirror here to do your makeup to zoom in. This is quite cool, quite like this mirror. And then we have the minis. Now we all know what this will mean. Mini haul. Here we go. So let's have a look and see what we got. So, all Champneys products, lovely. So we have, a bit of focus, Champneys conditioner, Champneys body lotion. We also have Champneys shampoo and shower gel, a lovely, amazing. We've got a little bar of soap here as well, some natural soap. And we have a shower cap. And then some more glasses here. Got a shaver unipoint. And it's really clean, as you can see, it's like spotless. And then I've got an anti-slip mat there for when you come out of the shower. A bin, and then this is the shower. I mean, the shower's huge. Amazing rain shower there, which feels good, I love in the morning. You've got the handheld shower there, which I love because I don't always want to get my hair wet in the mornings. But you can see how big it is. It's such a spacious shower. And then we've got a towel, there's one for our um, get out, so let's, oh, yeah, that's really big, that's really nice. Oh, wow, look at that for a rain shower. So there we go, so that is our bathroom. So it won't be tradition without me speaking in the bathroom, so here we go. Uh, I think we're just going to walk the grounds now because we can't actually use the spa facilities until five o'clock. And I know it's only like half past four at the moment. So we're gonna go walk the grounds and have a look and I'll take you guys with me so you can see and um, go from there really. And hopefully then we can go and use the jacuzzi because that's what I've been dying to wait for. I know they also had out here some Kent Life magazines. So I think I will take that with me because you can sit on the pool bed and have a read of the magazines and just relax. So I think I will do that. But overall, I'm really happy with the room. I'd definitely stay here again. And I highly recommend, it's so beautiful to stay in a muse cottage. I've never stayed here before, so really excited to. And yeah, the presentation is just beautiful. So here we go, let's go and walk the grounds. this way I love the coloured doors so you've got daisy for yellow we've got elderflower with the green foxglove the pink oh I think I would love to get a, a picture outside the front of the pink door holly that's red and what's this one? Gardenia. The white. How pretty is that? Wow, look at that. It smells fresh. 
Mm. Let's walk. Let's head. So there are the cottages. Oh, that one's got a lovely little garden. <laughs> got a pretty well. Isn't that a bowls ground? Make a wish. <laughs> and there it is, the beautiful manor. <laughs> The gardens look really pretty, don't they? Do you want to have a look? Okay. Ooh. Oh, look! <laughs> I'm trying to make it all, um, um what's the word? Like Fertilised for the new, for spring. So I'll plant a lot of flowers out here. Yeah, you're right. Wow. How pretty. And there's the friend's fountain. <laughs> it's not quite like New York, but... <laughs> a little bridge. This is where you get married Phil. Yeah on the outside part and you get married under that bit there. Where does everyone sit though? Along here and the bride walks over the bridge. <laughs> Try us not to get a hill caught. <laughs> and then she comes down here and there's all seats here with your guests and then she walks along here and then she meets her one true love at the end. <laughs> and they have some birds. Oh my god! That's an owl, look. Oh, they're all owls. They're they? all owls. Oh my god, look at that. Oh, can you hear? We've got the little one over there. <laughs> oh, it's really cold. We're just currently walking through the gardens at Isol Manor. We've just come from the maid's garden. Phil's wandered off because he's found the owls. <laughs> I think he just wants to see if he can get a closer shot. Or a closer view, I should say. For me, that wants to get the closer shot, but <laughs> Phil just wants to look at them. <laughs> Oh, it's so cold. I'm going to look forward to getting into that jacuzzi and warming up in a bit. Is it locked? Can't get in. You can hear them. <laughs> it's so beautiful. It's so quiet. Should we just go down to the fountain? Oh, can you hear the house? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I can't ever vlog with you in it as well because you're so tall. <laughs> that is a problem. It is a problem. It's my shoulders going. <laughs> oh yeah, I just never noticed it. Like a door on it, 
fish in it. I don't think there's any fish or anything. Oh yes there is, look! Over here. There's quite a few there. Oh yeah. Oh yes, I can see them. And they're all swimming together out. Right? How beautiful does that look? Look at that for a shot. Well, that was a lovely walk, evening walk. Yeah. We're going to go back to our room and we're going to get our spa stuff. I bought bubble bath and there's no bath. <laughs> no. Just, a shower. Just a shower. But that's okay. I'll have the bubble stuff when I get home. <laughs> and this is where the bride will walk down with our new husband. And they will have pictures taken by the fountain. Hint, hint, wink, wink. <laughs> Is that funny? Yeah, I thought it was hysterical to be honest. <laughs> Very funny. Ooh. And then an owl will fly over and land on their arm. An owl will fly yeah. over and land on whose arm? I don't mind. Is that meant to be magical? Yeah, it makes it more fun, doesn't it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I thought it was meant to be a dove, not an owl. <laughs> no, an owl. Owls are cooler than a dove. <laughs> am I? Yeah, I am. Look how bad we look. <laughs> Hair scraped up, makeup, peeling of face. Are you enjoying it? Mm -hmm. This is nice to relax with our shanties dressing gown. Oh, just sitting on the nice lounges, relaxing because the jacuzzi is not working. It's very, very cold, so hopefully it'll be working in the morning. Isn't it? Hopefully, yeah. as we come in to fix it. Just going to go and do a little bit more swimming. Not the most fluttering angles. <laughs> Don't we look great when we're having a spa time? Spa time. <laughs> you chat some absolute rubbish. Oh, I think the steam's gone to my head. So yes, I'm just going to do a few more lengths in the pool and then I think we're going to head out, get changed, go back to our room, redo my makeup because it's pretty much coming off. I wouldn't normally wear makeup going swimming but I already had it on before we came here. So yeah, I think we're just going to do that, sit here for a little bit more and talk and then head back and go and get some dinner.
And this is our dinner for tonight. I have sausages and mash, and Phil has steak with ciabatta. Mm -hmm. That looks amazing. And I have a glass of rose, and Phil has a beer. And this is in, what's it, onion gravy? Mm -hmm. mm, can't wait, right, I'm gonna tuck in. Enjoy! <laughs> room to pack up and then we're gonna head off but we do have a few good hours left until we are going for afternoon tea just trying to watch where I'm going because the path is not stable Did you enjoy breakfast yes thank you <laughs> oh it's very cold it's like a crisp morning right I'm gonna head and Pack our case. And where are we gonna go? To go shopping. Haven't decided yet. Mm. Maybe. Maybe. I've got some presents to buy. I've got some presents to buy. Yes, nice little song there. It looks so pretty. having breakfast. Breakfast was really nice. It was up at the manor. We just had continental because we're having our afternoon tea later so we didn't want to have too much because um, we didn't want to be too full really. So we just come back to the room. We're going to pack up our case and then check out. 
I think we're going to go do a little bit of shopping because our afternoon tea is not till half past two and we have to check out by 11. But um, yeah, it was a really good night. Um, the bed was comfortable, which was good. Phil and I came back from having dinner last night. We decided to have dinner in the restaurant in the manor. Well, it's not really the restaurant, it's the bar. So we had the bar menu, but it was really, really good. And we came back and we did some face masks. Now the face masks we actually used um, were Shampneys actually. So, you know, had them while you're at Shampneys. I'll just see if I can find which one it is. So it is, if I can show you, Shampneys one here, which is really nice. Good as new pick me up face mask. So yes, that's the face mask that we used last night and actually this morning I woke up and I could tell a difference, like my skin was really smooth and soft and the, my makeup went on really, really well so I definitely recommend those face masks. I think I have two more at home so there we go. But yeah, I'm just going to tidy up now and then we're going to check out and go for our afternoon tea. So we've just arrived at the secret garden. As you can see, it looks really beautiful behind me. So let's go and have some sandwiches and scones and cakes and lots of tea. <laughs> Vibrant, it can be. Oh, well, this is rather beautiful. setting. Oh wow Phil. Actually it's been a really beautiful place for a wedding. And that's what they use it for. Do they? Yeah, of course they do. Oh this bit here? Yeah. Oh, oh look. Wedding. <laughs> it kind of gives it away. It kind of gives it away. <laughs> Wedding. Look. And it's like, it's better than Eastwell Manor, where you meet your true love when you come down. Your husband to be. Out we go. Well, that was really lovely. We just finished having our afternoon tea. It did defeat us. We do have boxes, but it was absolutely lovely. And the staff were so kind and really, really lovely. Um, so yes, credits to the secret garden. Very, very beautiful. And we just walked through the grounds. Um, they said, why don't you pop and have a walk through the gardens, which we did. And it's lovely, really, really nice. Lovely, I keep using lovely all the time, <laughs> but it was, such a brilliant afternoon and very very delicious so we're just going to head home now and i'll probably end this vlog here so